So today, I'm going to talk to you guys about why you should continue going to the movie theater. So when I think about the movie theater, I remember when the first Avengers movie came out in 2012 because my siblings and I went to go watch, watch it in the premiere at 12 a.m. We got lost in a huge crowds and then ended up lining in the wrong line. When we finally made it to our seats, the movie was 20 minutes in, but it was worth it. The crowd was electric, and it was one of the best crowd experiences I ever had. It remains being one of my favorite memories I share with my siblings. It was an experience that a movie theater allowed me to experience and does not live up to any memory I have made <coughs> at home watching a movie, which makes it so sad to think because now, according to Variety, about 49% of pre-pandemic moviegoers are no longer going to the movie theaters. Movie going is decreasing, and along with it, the cherished memories and immersive experiences too. The immersive aspect is being replaced with constant distractions at home, and all of the experiences that you may get at, out of the movie theater, such as an electric crowd or avoiding spoilers, are all being lost. However, going to the movie theater and going to watch a movie with your friends solves this issue. The movie theater guarantees a great viewing experience. Along with it, it's big screen and surround sound. The theater provides an atmosphere that draws you into the movie in a way that a streaming service simply cannot. So the next time you're thinking about going to see a movie like Doom 2, go watch it at a movie theater and you are guaranteed to have an unforgettable experience with your friends and family. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, I have a question. Yes. What are the anticipated movies of 2024? Oh, that's a great question. So some of the my anticipated movies of the year is definitely Nosferatu, which is like a take on Dracula, and it's being directed by Robert Eggers, who's a great director. He directed The, the Witch, uh, The Lighthouse, very great movies. Um, Inside Out 2, I think we all love the first one, so like, who's not gonna go watch the second one? I mean, great actors who are in a great storyline. Another one is The Joker 2. Um, another great director, Todd Phillips. I really enjoyed the first one, and I'm sure you guys also enjoyed it, so it's great. It has Lady Gaga too, so that's great. And then um, A Quiet Place, it's like a prequel and it has Lupita Nyong'o, so like everyone has to go watch that. And it's written by John Krasinski from The Office, so yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You mentioned um, how there are distractions at home that mm -hmm. take from the movie viewing experience. What are some of those distractions? Yeah, I feel like when we're at home, we feel more the need to be like on our phone or are distracted more easily. Like if you get a text message, you're obviously going to answer it because you're not in a movie theater, so you won't disturb other people. Or like if you have a dog, like when I'm trying to watch a movie at home, my dog, my dog barks a lot, mm -hmm. so it's literally a constant noise in the background. My parents are walking around doing their thing, so that's also a distraction. I mean, there's just a lot of things mm -hmm. yeah, that gets in the way of the movie experience. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have any recommendations on like what movie theater to go to? Yes, that's another great question. So, I think the best movie theater that is like 20 minutes away from here, from SCU, is the Sunnyvale Movie Theater. It's really modern, really nice. It's a really great experience. Um, it has great surround sound, and it offers two different digital projections, which, which is IMAX and Dolby. And then it has really comfy reclining chairs and it's they have like one of those little desks where you can put like your snacks. It's really convenient. And yeah, it has great food and snacks, a variety of pop a popcorn. Who doesn't like that? I mean, yeah. Good question. Yeah. What about the cost of going to a movie theater? The cost? Yeah. Well, if you think about it, you probably are only going to the movie theater like maybe a couple times a year compared to like you constantly paying for a streaming service each month, which adds up. So like at the end of the day, like it doesn't really matter because 
It's all about the movie experience.